Okay, I'm here with Laura today uh, in the error detection section of our channel. Uh, we're going to do the serve today, right? So, uh, what about your serve? Do you it's very it? inconsistent. Inconsistent? My first serve will go in, when it goes in, it's, it's good, okay. but it doesn't go in all the time, and then the second serve is just kind of like a poof over the net. Okay, that's very, that's it's not pretty very common. Aggressive. All right, cool. And it's interesting that you said, uh, you know, about your first serve too, that you don't really like your first serve as well. It's not really consistent. And I think there's definitely a connection there between consistent first serve and a consistent second serve and how they really are pretty similar up to the very end. And we're going to go over that. Okay, so let's start. We're going to film it. We're going to, we're going to primarily stick on your second serve. Because in my opinion, if you can master the second serve and understand what the racket's supposed to be doing, it helps you immensely with your first serve. So basically, if you can hit a spin serve, with almost the same swing, you can hit a flat serve. But just because you can hit a flat serve doesn't mean you can hit a spin serve. So we're going to start with your second serve. We're going to film it. We're going to look at it high speed. And then I'm going to give you some drills and we're going to see if we can make it better. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so now you initially take your racket back with your palm facing up. If you look at... So we're going to work on your grip. We want to get your grip more towards continental. And we're going to have your palm be in more of a down, down position. Um, and that's going to really mess you up at first, but we'll, I'll explain why. Um, now you do kind of get, I like how your arm collapses, I like how your elbow comes forward. You get the throwing motion aspect, you get how to hit it in, but there's two aspects. One is the throwing motion and the second is pronation where you have the inward to outward rotation of your forearm. So you're kind of hitting the ball at full extension. Um, and you're kind of brushing down into the right on the ball. So if this was a clock, you're kind of going from 10 to 4 o'clock on the ball, where you want to be making contact with the racket on the inside of the hand going from 7 to 1. Reason being, you can't really hit down on the ball into the box. You have to be over 7 feet tall to have that angle, that trajectory. So you're always hitting forward and over all the net. Sorry, forward and over the net. So you can see how a 7 to 1 spin allows the ball to go up first and then down because the rotation's forward rather than a downward rotation which pulls the ball down. Um, so you, you could get away with this grip and swing if we just had you doing seven to one spin or in a strike. Um, but the, the bad part about that is you can't really extend your body. You'd have to kind of scrunch your body down in order to do it. Um, but you actually, you kind of get the idea of spinning the ball. And then when you're done, you're going to be in kind of a more of a wrist watch position. So your arm's going to be turned out to the side. So I'm going to show you, I'm just going to explain basically what I want you to learn is pronation. I want you to learn exactly what it is that happens when you do pronate. Um, and why that's important. All right, well, let's go out on the court. I'll show you a little more what I mean. The first drill we're going to do is I'm just going to take you with this thing. This is my spin doctor. It's a training aid I like to use. So let's see your grip. You're going to try to get your grip continental right there. Good. Now that's going to feel really bad, okay? So you're going to start here, and you're going to throw the wrong side of your racket around, and you're going to spin the ball from 7 o'clock to 1 o'clock. And you're going to finish kind of in this wristwatch position. So if you had a watch on here, you could see it. Okay, so one more time, it's going to start here. You're going to throw that racket around, use that great throwing motion that you already have. You're going to go seven to one, and then it can come back here. Weird, right? I know. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, here, take the stick and practice, practice making your contact right there, going in that direction. Okay, on the inside of the hand. Good, again. Good, see if you can get... So you got to unextend it, bring it a little lower, unextend your arm a little, okay? Yeah, again, ready? So it's going to go right here, hold on to it, that way, seven to one. So you're going to feel like you're coming in with this edge of your racket, seven to one. Grab on, good, you're going to start right here, now just think throw from here, just throw. And as you're hitting, just remember, lead in with this edge, here, go limp, I'm going to do this one for you. Okay, do you feel that spin? That turns out to the right, and there it is. That's awesome. Slow your motion down. Okay, now check that grip. Make it feel a little more un uncomfortable. Perfect. That's going to feel really bad. All right, here we go. Nice and loose. There you go. 
Oh, that was awesome. That was the total package. You took it palm down and everything. Nice. All right, so now remember, so you're, set your rocket up again like you're gonna hit. So this motion doesn't change from your flat to spin serve, okay? Your flat serve, you just come around, you hit at full extension, a flat ball, and then for spin, you just come around and you hit during the pronation for spin. So the motion's the same for both. One's just a little higher at, at, at kind of at the end of the pronation, and one you make contact with your arm slightly bent as the racket pronates. I, I would recommend starting from here for a while, and I'm just gonna throw this edge of the racket into the ball, and I'm gonna try to go from seven to one. Okay, keep working on it. It's gonna take a little bit. Yeah. Nice. That's it, I'm telling you, don't worry if it goes in or out right now. Just keep trying to keep that palm down and pronate up. Good, and here's what it looks like to me still. It still looks to me like you're trying to get tall and hit down into the box, rather than feeling short hitting up over the net. That's better, that's better. That was a nine to three, so you got a slice serve now. There you go, that was good. Nice. That's it, how'd that feel? Good. Yeah, our goal is not to have it be perfect today. Our goal is just plant seeds and have you know what it is you need to be working on in the future. Okay, but that grip Let's looks better. Like my first serve too. Well, remember what I said, they're very, very close. They both, I'll tell you when they change. Right now, they're still the same, they're still the same, they're still the same, they're still the same, still the same, still the same, still the same. Okay, now first serve, now second serve, what happened first? So your second serve is right in here as your racket pronates, right? Mm -hmm. And then the first serve is a little higher extension, kind of at the end of the pronation. And you probably won't pronate quite as much, but yeah, exact same motion for both, right up until the end. Nice.